hi and hello guys today in this video i will show you as to how you can uh, voice activate amazon uh, alexa on your uh, windows 10 pc and also as to how you can uh, auto start uh, the service on boot so for this you need a program called a voice macro what this will actually do is uh, it will look for certain keywords and then initiate an action so this is a very handy software uh, freeware which you can download and after the software you need a couple of scripts so i have prepared uh, two scripts for uh, auto starting one is called the alexa start.vbs and another one is called uh, speak.vbs so you require both these scripts so first uh, let me show you as to what you need to do for uh, voice activation so download this uh, voice macro zip file and extract it to some location in your uh, pc so after that open the folder and run the setup file called voice macro.exe so first time when you open the voice macro it will uh, show you a prompt to load the default uh, profiles choose no and then you will have an empty profile over here now what you need to do is uh, choose edit and then uh, against the profile choose add and give your profile a name i will call it assistant okay so and then uh, leave the active window unchanged choose ok and then under macros choose add new and give uh, your uh, voice command a name i would call it alexa and then click on the other option over here along the uh, right side and choose execute or open a file and click on the browse button and now choose and open the script uh, the speak.bbs script and then choose open choose ok ok and then save ok so before you start working with this you need to edit the scripts go back to the uh, sample app folder right click on the script and choose open with choose wordpad okay so uh, you need to change uh, this line over here which is app activate to the name what you see uh, on your uh, the jar file or the java file so change uh, that line alone and then close to save so what this basically actually uh, the script does is it takes control of this window and then i have calculated the uh, different uh, keys presses that it needs to do in order to click on the automatically uh, click on the microphone icon over here so it will uh, do it by itself okay so and then for auto starting i have got the script called alexa start.pbs right click and again choose open with wordpad so you need to change the path file of your uh, companion service so i have got it under uh, c uh, alexa ava sample app uh, then samples and so on so if you have it uh, in some other location please change the path file alone uh, for the uh, companion service change nothing else uh, similarly for uh, the java client as well so that is the folder where you execute the mvn exec do not change anything else just change the path file alone the folder into from which you execute the uh, mvn exec say okay and then uh, this two here denotes uh, the nature in which the command window will open say if it is one it will open in a maximized fashion say if it is a uh, zero it will be uh, running in the background you won't see anything at all and if it is two it will run uh, in a minimized uh, window so i i prefer to have it in the minimized window instead of uh, running in the background if you run into some kind of an error it will be easy to troubleshoot if you have them running minimized so if you wish to run it in the background change the two change the value 2 to 0 in both these cases close to save and then open the run window by pressing windows and r type shell script and then choose ok right click over here choose new and then choose shortcut choose browse scroll to the location where you have the uh, alexa start uh, 
script choose that choose ok choose next and uh, you should have your startup script in this so now uh, when you boot your uh, system your uh, Alexa will automatically start so with the latest version of the Alexa voice service you need to authenticate it only once the credentials will be stored and uh, it you need not authenticate it each and every time unlike the previous versions so if you have not updated to the latest version please do it and in case if you have missed my previous video of installing Alexa on uh, Windows please check that out in the card and the links in the description so when you are ready to run the macro for the first time click on the year symbol over here once to disable and second time to enable now you can start corresponding Alexa how is the weather now in Seattle it's 75 degrees with clear skies and sun today you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 58 degrees Alexa how is the weather in Dublin Ireland right now in Dublin Ireland it's 52 degrees with cloudy skies tonight's forecast has showers with a low of 49 degrees Alexa what is the time now the time is 11:22 p.m. okay so guys this is not uh, entirely bug free see if you minimize this Alexa window this voice activation will not work so as I said I have uh, made the voice activation to calculate the number of steps it requires from taking control of this to clicking on this microphone symbol so if you leave this minimized uh, this will not work so uh, you need to have this always uh, restored you can have it in the background in behind any other app or any other window but it's just that it needs to be restored so if you feel that it is taking too much of a real estate of your screen you can uh, resize this and place it somewhere in some corner of your screen where you uh, where it doesn't bother you at all Alexa how are you great thank you I hope you're doing well too okay so that is pretty much it guys so I hope that uh, you find this video really useful and informative if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos thank you